Hey everyone, so let's look at our supplies for paper quilling. First you have a piece of chipboard and um, this is white, black, or this cardboard color, depending what you have. So just work with whatever you have in your kit. You have um, a little package like this that has three different colors of um, little paper that we can roll. And um, at home, I'm sorry, you have, you're stuck with the papers that you got, that you have in your kit. And um, in class here, you're welcome to trade them in and out, whatever you need. But um, you have one kit to work with of paper quilling paper. You need your glue. You're going to need, and make sure it's a good glue, not the runny glue. And you're going to need a pencil. And then you're going to need some kind of tool to roll your quilling with. Um, this is a, ba a bamboo stick, like, you know, a skewer. So you can use this. This is just some of those chopsticks that come in the to-go orders when you get um, food. This is a bobby pin, hair bobby pin. Your parents might have some. Uh, this is just a regular toothpick. And this is just a piece of wire that I rolled in half. So any of these will work. I just wanted to show you all kinds of different tools in case you didn't have one or the other. This is a real quilling tool that we talked about in our vocab. And it's a slotted needle and there's a little hole right here that you put the quilling through so that's why the um, hairpin works good for because it has a little slot and also why the uh, wire that's folded in half creates that little slot for you so those are just some options I came up with here's the wire I cut it and here's my little slot because it's two pieces of wire and I just put tape around it for it to be um, easier to handle so you can make your own quilling tool or you can use one of these other tools if you want. Okay, so here are the steps. The first thing you need to do is design your tool, your quilling uh, design. Now I encourage, you have to be pretty big. You can't use the little, little section. You have to go a little bit bigger. We're not going to fill it like crazy. We're going to do basic kind of shaping because we don't have a lot of these little strips. Um, if you do want to add a lot of detail to yours, you're welcome to cut this in half and do a smaller half one. But no fourth. You have to do half or you have to do the whole sheet. Okay, so the first thing is you have to draw your design. Draw your design as big and as perfect as you want. You can also print a design. I decided that I wanted to do a paintbrush and I'm going to add, you know, like colors of just kind of paint, like it's coming out of the paintbrush. It's what I'm going to do. But I wanted to show you how to transfer an image in case we haven't done that yet. So um, you can print anything off the internet that you want. Remember, if you use any copyright characters or uh, logos like Nike or any kind of business brands, we cannot showcase them. We cannot put them in art shows. That's just something you wanted to do to hang up in your room for your personal use. Um, so try to stick with this right here. It's free clip art. So try to find images that are actually copyright free on the internet if you want to use them. So transferring an image. Here's what we're going to do. Um, I am going to hold it up to the light and I'm going to quickly go like that. That way I know that's where my paintbrush actually is. Then I'm going to go ahead and scribble a big section like this in the back of my paper. So I'm going to finish that real quick. Give me a second. So I went ahead and scribbled the whole thing. Um, the reason I outlined it kind of, sort of, when I held it up to the light so I can see a little bit, is because I just want to scribble what I need. I don't want to scribble the whole sheet of paper. So that's why I did that. Also, try to pick simple images, something that's not super complicated. And we are going to turn this around. We're going to place, I'm going to place mine a little bit higher because I want room for my paint at the bottom. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to trace this right here. I'm going to trace my image exactly as I want it. Now, a paintbrush is pretty easy but some of you might have something that you cannot draw, and that's why I'm gonna let you trace this. Now, you might be asking, why didn't she just draw it? I don't wanna draw it because all the pencil lines and all my eraser lines are gonna show up on my quilling board, and they're gonna show through my uh, quills. So, I'm sorry, my little rolls of paper, so I don't want it to look sloppy, so that's why I did it, um, so that my image is perfect the first time. So either draw it, or print it and then transfer it over and then you get your image on there. It's super light. I don't know if I hold it up. Can you see it? Probably not, but it's right here super light and I'm really happy with it being light because now I can add all my paper quilling to it and nobody can tell it was under there and it looks like I just did it. Okay, so that's it. 
That's how you transfer an image. Next, using your paper quilt. So you're going to grab a little sheet of paper. You're going to put it on whatever tool you chose, and you're going to wrap it. As I wrapped it, it got a little messy. So before I take it off, I'm just going to kind of compress it. And there it is. It's kind of loose, so it's going to make a bigger shape. I'm going to let it loosen up a little bit more so I can do things, some different things with it. I'm going to put a little dab of glue at the end. And this actually grooves pretty nicely. You don't want a lot of glue and you don't want a lot of runny glue. Just a little bit. And you're going to have to be able to just be okay with wasting about a minute so you can hold this in place. So there's your little roll. This, when you watch the YouTube video links that I'm going to add underneath this video, is going to show you how, like if I press it down here at the bottom, I squeeze it down there at the bottom, and then I compress the top, I can change it into a shape that I can use. I hope you can see that okay in the video. Here's this one. I'm going to glue it. Just because I hadn't before, I wanted to use it for the video. I'm going to glue it right there, and then I'm going to go ahead and squeeze both sides. And then I'm going to get that eye shape. So you can get all these different shapes depending on what you do. Um, here's my little two pieces of wire that I taped together. I just put it right through the little pieces of wire, and I spin. Now this is a little easier to spin than with a skewer. So if you have a little bit of wire, go ahead and make yourself a tool. Um, this one, I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it open just a little bit, just a little bit. Then I'm going to go ahead and glue it, spread the glue a little bit, hold it for just, you know, like 20, 30 seconds, and that's all you need. So now I have a much tighter little shape that I can work with. Um, this I can also squeeze, and I can have like a, you know, teardrop, raindrop type of shape. So the more looser you get, the bigger your shapes get. If you want something really, really big, then what I would do if I were you is I would grab a little bit of glue and spread it thin. I like to keep a little wet paper towel next to me so that I can wipe my fingers again and again. But I'm going to put two pieces together. And I'm going to let those completely dry before I roll them. So that's how you make bigger pieces. And you can get bigger and bigger with them. Um, here is the hip. The hairpin, I think a lot of you might have that. Again, put it inside the hairpin and just start pin, spinning. The hard part about the hairpin is that sometimes it's so tight, I guess because it's made to hold hair, that it's kind of harder to get them off. So just be careful with that. Um, so that's how you roll them. I put some videos on YouTube that show you instructions on how to actually make all these different shapes. Um, and you don't have to stick to those videos. There's plenty of other videos out there. So just have fun. And remember, the plan is to fill in your image with all these shapes that you create. Think about different colors. And um, if you want to draw in here afterwards, like the example we saw in our video, please do so. All right. I hope you guys have fun. Thank you.